Yo, what's going on guys? I look seven here. Welcome to my yacht garage. And that is because today I'm showing you a new mod that is available for Test Drive Unlimited 2. However, it does replace the Ferrari Enzo. But regardless, I think you guys are going to enjoy. Now, if you are experienced in modding, you can make it replace any other vehicle in the game. However, this does replace the Enzo. If you are just doing a body swap, I'll leave down the download link in the description below. But take a look at this beauty, guys. You can even put the windows down here. Yep take a look at this man the sf90 is now in test drive unlimited 2 let's go ahead though sit in the interior we're gonna do some races we're gonna have to drive it around because this car is beautiful and i think it's honestly going to be in tdusc as well it is a pretty big flagship ferrari in my opinion but let's go ahead drive take this vehicle for a spin and let's take a look at it now of course like always you have indicators as you guys can see indicators work on the vehicle front and on the rear brake lights work the whole thing and inside yeah pretty nice as well very nice the windows do we already have those up yeah we did let's leave them down turn on the car and here it is and i've got you gotta take that part slow otherwise here we go the ferrari sf90 is now in test drive unlimited 2 but let's see what races we could possibly uh, win with this. So here we are in one of the A1 championship races. You can see there is another SF90 here, a Devo, a Bugatti, a Pagani in the back. And is that a Pura GT as well behind us? It is. Let's turn it on. Let's take this win. It should be very easy. And Stuart Wintry, of course, as usual, is going to have the lead. And Miami Harris is the one that also has the SF90. And no, no, relax. Got a break here. Now the thing is, the Enzo platform already is a pretty good car in Test Drive Unlimited 2. And let's see if we can take this corner on. It sucks I'm not playing on a wheel. However, you know, after playing Test Drive Unlimited 1 Hardcore, it's kind of hard to accept what TD YouTube is. And I think a lot of you guys are going to agree with me on that. Another interesting thing is that, of course, TD World does have this new feature where AI is improved. Now, I'm not on TD World right now. Unfortunately, I'm actually on uh, Project Paradise 2 because they do allow all mods so you can have like this exact mod if you want it and play with it online however there is going to be a massive project paradise 2 update coming very soon guys i think a lot of you are going to be interested about and it adds trust me one of the very well requested feature of the launcher but of course i'm gonna cover that on my youtube channel when that time happens and make sure we don't slip up here because the ai is pretty easy in all honesty Maybe we can find some people online and do some online races because this race is done and dusted in the new SF90. Here we are. The interior looks pretty nice though. Even, of course, taking a look at behind you, underrated feature. I gotta make sure I don't hit any poles. Yeah, this is a very, very nice car, man. Nice job by the mod creator as well, of course. And finish, we'll take that pretty easy in my opinion we gotta kind of spice things up of what else we could do to showcase this car let's probably pick some people up i'm not gonna lie to you though that outfit is pretty sick i can't even i can't even lie to you like she's wearing a pretty nice outfit anyways so jolt gauge this is one of the missions where there's no time limit you weren't bound to get there in a certain time you just had to cruise because any sudden movement would increase this girl's jolt meter and basically by that i mean if we just hold on as you can see <laughs> just like that and it goes down whatever so when you drift or do jump stuff like that it increases the meter if you floor obviously <laughs> the g's you're oh <laughs> i didn't mean to do that but the g's you're gonna be pulling obviously she's not gonna be too happy about that so let's retry this and actually do it properly because like i said this is one of the game modes that basically enabled you to be able to cruise and chill so let's turn this on and you'll see what i mean if I floor it, oh, that's not, uh, no, we're good now. That's intro. Oh, you can't break hard either. So you really have to mind it. And you had a fair bit of distance to go as well, man. And just having someone sitting next to you in your passenger seat kind of, uh, helps with the realism of this game in all honesty. So I do hope we see some stuff in TDSC like this. That's just, uh, oh, we gotta be careful. Oh my God. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. Like, you actually had to follow the speed limit when you did this. You could floor it and, you know, have some fun, but, like, <laughs> she's not going to like that thought. He needs to slow down. 
Oh, see what I mean? One thing I want to point out, man, is that playing Test Drive Limited 2, honestly, it looks pretty nice. It's aged well, especially since it's been over a decade since it's uh, last come out, man. It's really good. But back on the topic of having all these side quests and side missions, like in TDUSC, if I do remember on the website, it does say that there's these delivery missions and like convoys and stuff that you can do. So I'm sure that Kiloton are going to do their due diligence and add something like that. But I'd love for like mini games like this because there are other ones as well. There's a cheating uh, girlfriend one. It was also the adrenaline guy where he actually wanted you to speed and drift and weave in between cars. So you had both sides of it in all honesty and it was fun, man. But being able to actually like be rewarded for cruising in a game is something that I don't think many games actually have. So the fact that you could do this in Test Drive Unlimited and just cruise around, get paid for it as well, man, it really, really helped with its explorability. Yeah, not gonna lie, bro, that dress looks phenomenal. And let me make sure I should have looked before I turned. Oh. <laughs> we're good we're good i don't know why she hopped in an sf90 if <laughs> she didn't want to be shaken up i mean let's just floor it we're only got two kilometers left she might not like it but the g's are gonna be pulling here man okay now no <laughs> thank god if you weave in between cars nothing happens can i make this turn no i'm not even gonna risk it <laughs> yeah we gotta turn around let's turn around here but yo i just want to point out bro a huge shout out to the martyrs that keep this game alive because honestly without them this game might not be as good as it is right now i mean you have martyrs making cars you have martyrs making online servers stuff like that bro even graphical mods and the thing is it's not just for test drive unlimited 2 it's also test drive unlimited 1 so we're getting it as a whole the entire series we're getting some good mods man and there's a ton more that i can't wait to showcase you guys including the new porsche 911 uh gt3 rs that bus got is gonna swing out super wide but anyway here we go we just delivered up the girl let's see what she says 9k we're gonna take that from her real quick thank you that was so sweet of you oh thank you we'll we'll uh we'll accept your donation of two thousand dollars okay honestly i thought it was nine thousand and we have a vehicle in our vicinity that we need to track down i think i see it unless i I'm blind. And up here we have, I think, is that the AC? No, I can't even remember what car this is, but I'm sure you guys will be able to tell me. Um, I'm really, I'm trying to remember what it is. It could have been, yeah, I'm not gonna remember. But anyways, <laughs> this is one of the red cars that we have there, guys. Hopefully, as a future mod, we can actually add more red cars to find all across the map. It could be possible, in all honesty. Now, last, I gotta show you guys this mission, of course, which is the time attack mission and this mission was timed of course and you also had a meter i think if you go off road does it count no it doesn't this is just factually you had to get there in the fastest amount of time so there we go with the ferrari enzo stats but sf9 body let's see how we do now the good thing is he's not going to care if we hit anything there is someone that does care <laughs> i forgot what mission type it is but there is someone that actually does care and oh, we gotta turn right here. Here we are, the first big jump in Test Drive Limited 2, which, whoops. Hopefully the highway in Hong Kong Island is gonna be a bit different than that. I'm sure there's gonna be jumps though. I don't think it's gonna be something. And there's the fire truck just really trying to get me there. And we're not about to hit. Let's put the windows up actually, it's kind of raining. Yeah, it kind of makes me wonder where this guy's going because if we're going south, before I even end up this video, I want to check out the Ferrari dealership where you can actually purchase the Enzo so I can show you guys a nice little detailed oh no way damn <laughs> that would have been totaled easily i was gonna have to no hezzy all of this which by the way i think i was saying this on stream the porsche 918 spider in this game when you go at a fast speed bro it's like it has its own motion blur it looks so sketch traveling oh that guy's definitely dead it looks so sketch traveling at max speed in that car and we're gonna drop this guy off to his meeting very soon whoops brakes are non-existent i see and we are in the downtown city and hopefully we can break in time yeah we did we'll just do a nice little drift here to the finish line to drop him off to his meeting there you go bro i hope i get very well paid for this <laughs> yeah five thousand not bad and that's 10 out of the 100 i have to do now let's take a look at the fry dealership so i can show you guys what this looks like inside now like i said the uh, dealership here is actually the fry dealership in its real life location in downtown honolulu bro you saw me coming the entire time do i have a green light i might not have 
one but that's not the point <laughs> anyways this location is its exact location as it is in real life let's take a look at the ferrari enzo which should be in here i hope so unless i'm wrong yes it is here it is so well obviously not the enzo the sf90 as you guys can see here are there any options for interior there's only one type of rim however obviously you have two different colors for it if you wanted you have the yellow and let's actually see if there's any interior options there's no different interior options for the mod however you can still obviously paint it in the dealership and you can obviously also paint it at the actual sticker shop that works as well especially if you have the uh project paradise 2 or td world mod i'm pretty sure they both enable and look at that engine detail shame you can't open the engine bay in test driver limited 2 man it does kind of suck you can't do it in td1 either but in tdsc i hope that's something they look into at least the bonnet and the hood you should be able to open but yeah guys if you did enjoy leave a like and subscribe for more information the mod link will be down in the de description below for you guys to go ahead and check out and for me you see i'm just gonna take some beautiful pictures of this car <laughs> take a look at this man yeah that yep yep that's a beauty this car is a beauty it's crazy there's actual dealerships in this game man i can't wait for tdc anyways i'm out seven and i'll see you guys on the video i'm out peace